Um, good afternoon, Year 6, or good morning, Year 6. We're just doing a bit of a recap today on multiplication in addition to your additional uh, video. Um, we're going to be thinking today about being successful by uh, revisiting our multiples of 7, 9, and 11 to check we know our times tables. Um, we're going to correctly order our approaches to some calculations, and then we, get, we are going to solve some questions which are linked to some of the concepts that we're using. Okay, um, so... First of all, we've got um, uh, some missing uh, products of our 7, 9, and 11 times tables. Can you very quickly just write down the, those missing products, Nathan? I'm sure you'll be straight away like that. So 7 times 1, 7 times 4, 7 times 6, 7 times 9, 9 times 1, 9 times 4, 9 times 7, 9 times 9, 9 times 11, 9, uh, 11 times 11, and 12 times 11. Very quickly write those products of those factors down, please. Let's see how we've done. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 9 is 63. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times 9 is 81. And 9 times 11 is 99. Remember those ones and the tens values for all of our multiples of 11 are always the same until we get to 10 times 10 and then it's 10 uh, it, the tens value is one the ones value is zero but 11 times 11 is 121 and 12 times 11 is 132 lovely job okie dokie guys right we're thinking with these next questions about um, which of these questions has the largest answer. And to do this, you basically need to do the calculations. So just pause the video for a second whilst you work through. And if you're not sure, go through with me. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll do a meter, okay? And she's doing uh, 1,321 1, multiplied by, uh, by, Sorry, 1,321 multiplied by 21. And what she'd do, first of all, is do the uh, 1 times 1, which would be 1. Sorry, guys. I'm not very good with these computers. So 1 times 1, which would be 1. She'd then do 1 times 2, which would be 2. And this is assuming that she was doing it as those two steps. 1 times 3 for 300, which would be 300. And then 1 times 1,000, which would be 1,000. So she's got the same value as the, the initial factor. But then to do her 20 times 2, she first of all put a 0 there because she knows, sorry, to her 20 times 1, she knows that she's not going to have a value in the 1's column other than 0 due to the fact she's doing multiples of 20. 20 times 1 then is 20. 20 uh, times 20 is 400. 20 times 300 is 6,000. And then 20 times uh, 1,000 is 20,000. Okay. And once she's got those back, Alice, I'm sorry, it's so messy on the screen, guys. She then calculates these two together by adding these two together. So she ends up with one, uh, four. <laughs> I'd be very grumpy with you in class, wouldn't I, if your presentation looked like this. Seven, seven, and two. Okay, so you can see at the end she ends up with 27,741. If you complete the same calculations for Barbara and Clive, you've then got to identify who has the largest answer. And the way of doing that, remembering, is doing the ones values first and then progressing from the right to the left of the calculation. Okay. Pause it while you try and do those, please. I'm sorry about the presentation. Okay, guys, let's see how we've got on. Okay, so um, Amitra um, was 27,741. Barbara, 25,572. And finally, Clive, 25,599. So we can see that the largest answer was Amitra. I'm sorry about the presentation of mine, guys. I'm just giggling about how bad it was. Right, guys, with James, he's using the um, one that is digit cards, so these individual digit cards that he's got, um, and you can see that he's, he's trying to use some of them. Um, he uses three of the digits in the calculation, so you can see there's one, two, three spaces that are missing. Okay, so here, I'm trying to highlight, not do the rebound. Got here, here. And here we've got these different marks which are missing. He wants to find the calculations we have answers, so the product needs to be between 20,000 and 30,000. And I'd like you to try and find some, okay? Try and find some. So, again, you're basically doing a calculation, you just got to identify using the one, the two, the two, and the four. You can only use each digit card once, but you could put two in, 
um, more than once, but you can only put one and four in once um, and complete the calculation where you're doing a four digit number multiplied by a two digit number and the ones and the ones and the two in that four digit number and the two digit number already allocated according to that. See how you get on with that one now, please. Okay, let's see. A couple of suggested answers. So you could have 1,121 multiplied by 22, which is product of 24,662. And then you could, as you see at the other one at the bottom, 1,221 multiplied by 21, where the product would be 25,641. Okay, so there's different options. Hopefully you were able to identify some of those where the product was less than 30,000, but greater than 20,000. Right, guys, next one. We're going to think about with these uh, sprinkles. Um, so if we have a look here, we're selling cupcakes. There's 16 in a box. Okay, they sold this many boxes last year. So you're going to multiply these two values together. Okay, they also they also sell um, sprinkles on top, and in they in one month they use this many sprinkles. Okay, and with that value, then you've got to multiply it by a number. What do you think you've got to multiply it by to figure out in a year how many they moved it by? Because I can see that I've got 16 and then I've got 1,521 as values that I'm going to multiply to get my product. But with 2,138, what am I multiplying it by to find a year? It's a year, isn't it? So therefore, it's multiplying it by 12 because it's one, one month is 12 a 12th of a year. Okay, so therefore, we're going to multiply it by 12. Okay, so we can see that it's 2,138 multiplied by 12, it leads to 25,656 sprinkles. Okay, and that year value you can see there. Okay, guys, on your sheet, you've got they, these are slightly bigger values, so you've got to be careful with them. And also, do make sure you're looking for the largest answer rather than anything else. Okay, again, guys, you've got that year clue word rather than saying a value necessarily, so you just need to think about that. And remember, with these digit cards, you can only use each of the cards once. So you've got to fill in the place before the seven, so the thousands digit, and the ones digit in our four digit number, and then the tens digit in our two digit number. And you're trying to make a product that is between 90,000 and 100,000. So it could be 91,000, it could not be 101,000. Okay, and you've got to find three calculations for that. Thank you for your attention with that today. You're looking at metric measures in your maths uh, with the other video today. Um, and where you're asked to do these, you've got quite a lot of estimating to do. So do try and follow the video in terms of the guidance about how to estimate. So it's a rational estimate rather than just a silly one. OK, you can't just pick random numbers out of the air. You've got to make sensible decisions about the values that you're picking. OK, and then here, how heavy is our school? I'm interested to see your answers on that, guys. Um, answer sheets are coming through to you today for solving two step equations and then the finding pairs of values one and two sheets today and then finally guys that's from me today have a good day and i'll see you again after the weekend bye bye